Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna bring you to show you some of the stuff I'm setting up my hermit crab tank with. They are upgrading to a 20 gallon long and I'll show you how I'm doing it and um, like how I'm gonna set up. It's gonna be bikini bottom theme, which I think is so cute because I love SpongeBob. So anyway, stay tuned. Here I am at Dollar Tree shopping for accessories for my hermit crab tank i'm trying to create two pools for them and i'm not sure if these are going to fit side by side but for a dollar 25 i could always use it for something else i found some shells that are not painted of course i'll you know I'll boil them for a little bit before putting them in there and then i think this will fit sideways so my goal is to have two um pools for them one salt water and one fresh water so we'll see how that works out all right these are a lot of the hermit crab tank supplies um this is a nice upgrade for them it's a 20 gallon long um but <laughs> i'm trying to figure out okay i got this heater i don't know if it's too big for this tank let me pull it out and i'll show you so this is the heater you know everything i've researched i mean i've had crabs for years and sadly they've passed away from my lack of education but you know all the videos i've been watching on youtube which there aren't any updated videos on youtube like they're all three years old plus so people need to make new videos on hermit crabs but anyway i saw that they need a heater so um, and that it should take a large part of the back. And I thought, well, this is this should be a good size. So, you know, I'm going to stick it on the outside, obviously. Hermit crab heaters never go underneath. But is this too big? Like, part of this is going to be under the substrate. So I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. What is this thing here? Well, I'm not sure what that is. But anyway so i don't know all right guys i'd like to thank timu for sponsoring this part of the video they have sent me some little accessories for my hermit crab tank and also i can use them in my fish tank but i think i'm going to use them for my hermit crab tanks so these little artificial plants are the cutest things to use in there so they can climb and i love these okay look at the shells the shells are like the perfect size for some some crabs like this size some like the round ones these are all from Timu, but these, so these also came from Timu, but if you can tell, they're, see how they're round? They're different. And what I like about these shells from Timu is that they are natural. They're not painted. They're not painted shells. These are just natural shells. And this little hideaway is cute so they could climb. And this coconut shell, which I love, even though it's a little lopsided. I like it anyway because they'll love it. They'll love to climb on it. And I've seen a lot of people with hermit crabs use these. They they go on here and they, you know, they spin. And then this little um, little fish tank sort of. Now I'm not sure how I'm gonna use this yet in my hermit crab tank. I might. I might. I'm not gonna keep the light in there because hermit crabs. You know, um, I don't think they'll like that light. But the rest of it you know i can i can make it a little mini pool for them so it's it's a great um product and i can i have different options you know but uh i love i love all the little shells and then they send me these um bunch of plants you know i can really get my decor going in this hermit crab tank so that's what i'm gonna do slowly but surely i'm gonna set it up so again thank you to timu for all the cool things you know timu is um it's a great place to shop, especially for like re reasonably priced items that um, you can get without like breaking your, your bank dollar. <laughs> so give them a try. Now, nobody's moving into this tank until I have it thoroughly cleaned and I have all the items cleaned and I have their salt mixed up. And this is the salt I like to use. It's called Instant Ocean. And I have some coir there. So the way I mix um, their substrate is five to one, five parts play sand to one part of coir. And that's the ratio I've always been successful with and I've never really had problems. So, 
but we're doing um in this tank we're gonna do a bikini bottom spongebob theme so i have a few little things of spongebob um my kids grew up watching spongebob i like spongebob so we're doing spongebob Okay, update. I was, I opened this up to start, you know, getting it ready to put in my tank. And the corner of it was broken. So anyway, oh man. I contacted Petco and they gave me a full refund. Luckily, I didn't get cut when I opened this. But anyway, I ordered a new cover for it but this time I didn't get glass like this I just got a black hood because I'm just afraid it'll arrive broken again and I have to deal with that so anyway um that's what I'm up to right now so I wanted to show you guys what I got from this shop called just two old crabs <laughs> I think the name is so cute and uh let me show you what I got so I got something called chicken mushroom fiesta I can't believe I can actually see the words because I don't have my cheaters on. Midwest Sizzler. And look how beautiful the food is. I just, I love to look at it. Oh, wow. And this one's called Banana Clam Pudding. Now, I'm not sponsored by them. I'm just a shopper. Creole Crawfish. Just These probably smell so good green eggs and ham how cute i got the holiday package i wasn't sure what it was gonna have cookie worms oh my gosh how funny it's got peanut butter fresh cooked silkworms oh boy i'm glad the crabs like it so all the ingredients are like on the package so you could actually see what you're getting and I, I've heard that these this shop, Two Old Crabs, is like one of the top shops. And they've been, um, people have checked them out and their ingredients are really fresh and pure. So this one's called Hocus Pocus. Oh, look how pretty that color is. Wow. And then she sent me two, like, thank you ones i thought that was so sweet thank you for your order this one's called holy mackerel blues look how gorgeous that color is it's oh my gosh it's so blue and this one is called tasted like poop <laughs> look at the ingredients worm castings deer scat cow manure wild goose poo bunny poo guinea pig poo scat and green sand perfect for hermit crabs so i just wanted to show you that I'm storing all my food here in this bottom drawer all the fresh stuff i got so guys if you guys want worm castings and coconut flakes that are untoasted and fresh i'm gonna link my etsy shop below i sell it i am a professional worm farmer by day that's like my job crabs and crochet and crafting is like my hobby but i got worm castings coming out of my eyeballs okay every worm farmer does so <laughs> i'll link my shop if you want to check it out think, guys i put it together the hamster wheel so hopefully they'll go like that i saw in another video someone had put little pieces of wood like every couple of inches so that they can step but do you glue it on? I you see when I had hermit crabs years ago, I didn't have all this fancy stuff. It was I'm gonna do another video of what not to have when you have a hermit crab. But how do you glue them on safely? I guess I'm part of a Facebook group. I guess I'll have to go over there and ask. Um, but look how cute. I think they're gonna love it. So so far I put that thing in there and I'm starting to get my um, bikini bottom decor out but I'm gonna take it out again so that I can just I'm working on their pools these are the pools one's gonna be salt water one's gonna be fresh I'm adding shells to the bottom because I feel that they need like help climbing up and I'm gonna have to put little fake leaf trees or something 
just to help them get out of the pool when they go back out to the sink. So what do you think, guys? I think the little pool is going to be cute. They got their little thing to climb out of. I just hope that they can climb it. <laughs> I think so. I've wrapped it around here, and I'm going to, like, bury this down so it's a little lower, and I think it'll be okay. So I'm just going to remove these for now. I am going to do bikini bottom, Spongebob, and I have all the Spongebob figurines to live in there too. So um, I don't know. What do you think so far? I think it's going to be cute. So good morning, guys. <clears throat> I ended up taking that square thing out of here and I put this, um, this piece of wood. Believe it or not, I got this from Timu. I bought this piece and you never know what shape they're going to come in. So I placed it on here and I thought it'd be good to help them get in and then be able to climb out. So I'm going to wrap some of this, um, this tree stuff like around it and tie. It's just to make sure they can get in and out. So in the next video, I'm going to bring you back. I'm going to start adding the substrate and the heater and all the other um, things. So stay tuned. If you like hermit crabs and crafting, press that subscribe button and I'll see you all next time. Take care.